Hello. And, oh, I forgot my microphone. Hello and welcome to my unboxing of Batgirls number one with the variant cover by Joshua Middleton. I have it right here. At least I think it is. There's only one thing I ordered that could be from here. So uh, I also have, of course, my classic Batgirl trades. So that's exciting. But I'm not unboxing that. It's just because I love Stephanie Brown Batgirl. All right. So let us see. I've never had one of these uh, mailers before. So let's see. What's the best way? Okay. So I'm going to cut all the tape. Tape is for cutting. I appreciate this because I am very excited about this comic and I want it to be safe. So the fact that they have all this cardboard around my comic it gives me a good feel. All right, wait. Did I miss? Oh, I missed some. I missed some tape. Oop. 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 Okay, that should be it. All right. Okay. Inside the box, we have our... Yes. So this is my receipt. Yes, receipt. And... Wow, this is a really cool little box. All right. Okay. So this, another uh, board. That's nice to have. All right. Here we go. That's my cover. That's my Batgirls comic. All right. All right. And so this is brought to you by Comic Shield, in case anybody wanted to be sponsored. I'm not sponsored, but. I'm impressed with this package. It's pretty cool. I like the other one, the one that's more common for comics. It's basically, um, it's less elaborate than this. Am people who use Amazon often use this, but Comic Shield definitely cool. Um, let's see how much do they charge me for shipping. They did not say on my receipt, so I don't know. <clears throat> All right, so this is as goodness. This uh, I don't know what this board is. All right, so now I'm going to see if I can get the comic out without damaging it. Oh, shoot. That's disappointing. Okay, so I just unfortunately screwed up the tape. So I'm going to try and get that off. Come on. Come on. Here we go. All right. So I got that tape off. There's a reason I don't like taping comics, uh, comic bags in a certain way. And that is uh, because the tape, because of the serrations of cutting the tape on the dispenser, it tends to rip in half, which makes it very difficult to get the tape off and retape it. And since I like to read my comics, getting them in and out is very important to me. So I prefer to tape them in a certain way that makes it relatively easy to untape and retape. I also use satin tape instead of this standard scotch tape because it looks better not that it actually matters i'm weird all right so this okay so i can feel from this that it is a cardstock rather than a uh just a regular comic cover so it is beautiful now i did get the trade dress because it doesn't obscure anything um so you you can see here here's the trade dress i love that logo i'm really excited that this book has its own logo um, that sets it apart from the previous uh, several Batgirls series. I mean, this is brand new from all the other Batgirls. Uh, Cass, Steph, and the... Uh, I want to say there was at least two Batgirls. No. I don't actually remember. Let me do a quick check. Let me do a quick check. Let's see. That girl number 50. Oh, it looks to me like Batgirl had one font for 10 years. So from the beginning of the New 52 all the way to the end of the New 52. So Batman also did that. Uh, the New 52 created the new Batman font uh, logo, and they've done that. Oh, I should also say I'm eating my dinner. And if you have read the... Uh, have you read Batgirl's number one? You'll understand why I picked this meal. It's 
it's very appropriate if you've read Batgirls number one. Um, part of me wants to make that my Batgirls dinner every time I get a new issue, but we'll see if I get tired of that. So, um, let's take a look. Um, this there's two options. This I think was either twelve or twenty dollars. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's see. Hold on a sec. Oh, shoot. There we go. Okay. So, yeah. So, this was $20 with seven fifty dollars shipping. So, seven fifty dollars paying for that box is why that was. So, this was a almost $30 uh, order. Um, I think it was very worthwhile. The 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 version that doesn't have this trade dress is a lot more expensive. It's like I think ten more dollars, and um, I didn't feel that was worth it, so I chose to just buy the logo because I actually wanted the logo too. A lot of people don't want the logo; they want their variants without it. But because this doesn't, as you see, it's just right here in this spot that would just be white otherwise, so it doesn't distract from the actual art of the beautiful Stephanie and the beautiful Cassandra. And some people have said that Cassandra doesn't look Asian enough. Now, as you can see, I am part Asian. I'm half Asian. Um, Cassandra Kane used to be half Asian. I don't know what her current mix of Asian is, but I firmly believe that it's nice when you draw in a more realistic style to have uh, a more clear half Asian Cassandra because I'm the most... Asian looking of my siblings. All of my siblings are half Asian and half white. And so uh, I like the fact that she looks clearly half. She's not uh, just Asian and she's not just white. So I appreciate that. And Stephanie, I think, just looks really pretty and she's looking off to the side like she's detecting something. Uh, and you can see the detail. There is a little bit of Steph's bat logo right there. That is cool. So uh, on the back, you have, hmm, what is it? Oh, so on the back, it's actually a faint version. You can see of Cass and probably a little bit of Steph. Uh, but on the faint, maybe the other one has Steph. I don't know. And you have, of course, the logo of the retailer that ordered this. It's exclusive to big time collectibles. And there is a link to buy that if you want. I don't know if they're sold out or not, but you can buy it. Um, I really like this because Josh Middleton is one of my favorite cover artists. I loved his Action Comics 1000 cover. I loved his uh, Batman number 50 variant cover for the wedding. Actually, let me pull those out. I've got the deluxe editions. I didn't buy those um, when they came out, but I did buy the deluxe editions. Uh, Josh Middleton also... Um, drew covers for a lot of Babs Batgirl series in Rebirth. And so I'm really glad that he drew this one, even though it's a retailer exclusive, so it's not a series, but I'm really glad, glad that he drew this one for the uh, the new Batgirl series. That feels like continuity. So in Action Comics 1000 Deluxe, I will show you the cover he did for, let's see. And he did the 80s. So it was... So the 1980s variant by Joshua Milton, you can see he did the Margo Kidder and Christopher Reeve and Lex Luthor in Power Armor and Jimmy Olsen. And it's just gorgeous. I love just how clean and uh, shapes and the lighting that he likes to use. He, he has a very painterly style. It's very uh, digital painting is the style I call. Uh, you, you see this also in Art Germ. Art Germ is another digital painter who does a lot of soft textures and gradients that make it look more computer generated, but it's actually a painting. Uh, usually done in, yeah, in, in uh, our terms case, it's definitely digital. I don't know if Josh Milton works in digital, but it looks like it. So, and then in the Batman Deluxe Wedding album, um, there is a cover that Joshua Milton did for Batman number 50. Um, and I... I bought this collection for two images. One was the Lee Weeks splash page on the inside, and one was this cover that I'm going to show you. So 
This is Batman number 50 retailer exclusive Catwoman in her wedding dress and veil. Um, I just, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. I love that. And I like that I got the deluxe because I probably would have done the same thing and gotten the logo. But the logo off balances the, the thing. It was right here, Batman. And just off balances uh, the, the image. So this is better. I also keep my <laughs> wedding invitation in there to the to the fake wedding that wasn't and i am still salty about that even though i like tom king's batman so um that actually brings me to the end of my unboxing section now i'm going to do a review um wow this is i don't know what this is okay so this is the board inside huh i don't know if this is acid free or not i'm going to take it out because i don't trust it because this one is not acid free, but it has the coating. So we're gonna put that inside and then we're gonna put our Batgirls title back in. And I actually have ordered uh, three more covers, but they are from Things From Another World, so they're not coming for a while. So I am going to go and uh, I'm gonna do my cover review now. Back in the bag. My beautiful Stephanie Brown, Stephanie Brown, Batgirl again. I'm very excited. I really enjoyed this uh, issue. I think it it rewards careful rereading. Um, I was a little disappointed on first read, so if you don't like it the first time, it's possible you won't like it. It's possible that uh, a rereading will give you more details that you will enjoy more. So let me get to my cover review. So here is our covers for... This is the main cover uh, by Jorge Corona, this, the interior artist. You have Cass, Steph, and Babs. Uh, I like that all three are featured. Um, I, I think that Jorge Corona's style really fits with the logo they've designed. I think that's cool. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure. I really love Corona as a cover artist. Um, when he did "We Are Robin," uh, Lee Bermejo functioned as the cover artist, who is also the writer, um, and I liked that. Uh, I don't think I would have liked it if Lee Bermejo did the interiors because he's very static, but he's great at covers. Whereas I think Corona's great at interiors. So this is the main cover, um, cover A. Then we have two covers, which are actually, let me see if I can do this. All right. Yes. So this is a connecting cover by In Hyuk Lee. Um, and you see your masked side and your unmasked side. And you see the capes uh, provide transitions. I did order these two from Things From Another World. Um, I'm hoping that they will arrive and they'll be in good shape. Uh, In Hyuk Lee also has that digital painter. He's not quite as detailed as Josh Middleton. Josh Middleton does a lot more with lighting, whereas the, the lighting on the faces of Stefan Cass and the unmasked variant is a lot flatter. Um, but I love the, the cityscape and everything in this cover. It's, it's really gorgeous, and I'm really happy uh, to add this to my collection, too, because I wanted to celebrate. <sighs> Sorry, I wanted to celebrate um, and also sneeze. All right, so that is... And these are open to order. They're variants that are cardstock, so they are more expensive. Uh, the original comic is $3.99. These are $4.99. So the $5 comic. I'm still not happy that cardstock variants are used to justify higher price, but I want to celebrate Batgirls. So um, this is by the Fantasy Flight. Uh, no, sorry. Okay. Final Fantasy artist, Yoshido Amano. Yoshitaka Amano. Um, and this is another cardstock variant. I believe it is open to order. I have to admit, I am not a Final Fantasy person, so this doesn't really appeal to me, and I don't get it. It doesn't look like any version of Stefan Cass I've seen before. But a lot of people have been so excited about this, so I'm really glad they did that. Um, so this is the first of the incentive variants. It is a 1 in 25. So the store has to order 25 uh, copies of this issue, which means that it's probably going to be selling for somewhere between 12 and $25 for this one cover. Um, they are doing multiple one in 25 variants for the first three issues. And they are all by Ryan Gonzalez, who is a, uh, an artist and she um, has been doing a lot of them. They're very cute. As you can see, uh, they have very small noses and large eyes. It has that anime influence because Ryan Gonzalez is at least partly Asian and has that influence as well. Um, they're eating pizza. Uh, something that some people have pointed out is that on Steph's side, you have Red Robin, her now ex-boyfriend. And on um, 
Cass's lap, you have a plushie of Superboy, who is a love interest, although they were never officially dating. You also have Oracle on the side. Uh, and I assume this is like the, the game they're playing in a mirror behind them or something. And then Nightwing and Batman, and you have a little Nightwing and the Bitewing from the Nightwing series. So apparently the people who are making these covers are huge Nightwing fans. Um, I am not a huge Nightwing fan, but I do appreciate that there's this connection. All right. Um, so again, this is going to be more expensive. It's also going to be card stock, but uh, the expense comes because it's what's called an incentive. Now, this is a one in 50, so it's going to be like $50. It's very difficult to get this cover um, if your store doesn't order enough. And if they order enough, it's going to be, it's going to cost you. I'm betting at least $25, probably closer to 50, maybe 40. But I am probably not going to get this. This is Dan Hip, who does a lot of Teen Titans Go inspired art. I do love Dan Hip's cover. I have bought. Um, his Detective Comics number 42 variant with Stephanie Brown as Robin, including him on the Teen Titans Go style. But um, I think overall I've spent about $50 on covers because um, I spent about $30 on that one cover and I'm spending about $20 on the other covers, uh, including the two variants and the, the other variant that I'll show you when we get there. <clears throat> But I don't think I can justify spending $50 on one cover, even though I love the detail. Although, she, Steph is missing her, her thigh belt. She really needs to have her thigh belt. And then, of course, you've got the profile of Batman with the city and the light and Cass. And you have uh, Babs and Dick, because that's a big shipper thing that they're doing right now. Which I appreciate. I'm just not a huge Nightwing fan. Um, these are the two covers. So, as you can see, this is the cover with minimal trade dress. This is the cover with the trade dress. There is no difference in framing um you just have a difference here and i like the logo I, I i genuinely wanted that logo so that's why i chose the less expensive one here is dan mora um another retailer exclusive exclusive um i think i have links to the retailer exclusives on the page that i'm getting this from which is the steph wiki which i edited um i didn't order this but i was really tempted because i love dan mora he's such a great artist on once in future and detective comics um, but the focus of this, this cover is clearly Babs. And I made, uh, sort of an arbitrary promise that I would only buy comics that had at least an equal focus on Steph as any other character. Steph and Cass are clearly the small focus. They aren't really important to the major construction. You have Batman and big Babs is the center. She's pyramidal. So everything goes in like an X to, to Babs's face and Babs is gorgeous, but I am buying this book for Steph. So to help save me money, I am not ordering any co covers that do not focus on Steph at least as much. And I'm not ordering all of them. So this is another pair. Um, this is by uh, Kendrick Lim, who actually bought a Steph Black Lantern Zombie Batgirl uh, variant cover for uh blackest night dark multiverse one shot which doesn't have steph in it but it was the first steph batgirl art in a long time that you could buy so i got it and again this has two variants there's the unmasked and the masked and the unmasked has the the batgirls logo and the masked has the minimal trade dress uh this has a redder background and the mast has a, a blue background and uh, this has them in pretty good shape. And this one has battle damage. You can see their hood and their mask are all ripped and stuff. Um, I like the little details there. That really makes it kind of uh, sort of add value to buying both of them. I'm not a huge fan of their faces, though. They they don't have the same kind of life that Josh Middleton's faces. Josh Middleton's faces, to me, felt really alive. And they had expression. And these ones just kind of feel generic and placid. And... I don't know. I just uh, I wasn't feeling it quite enough to order one or both. I probably would have ordered this uh, unmasked one because I really like that uh, idea better. But uh, Steph's hair is really short there. This is the other expensive cover I ordered. It's the Things from Another World exclusive. It's by Babs Tar, and you'll notice that I chose to buy covers that were drawn by previous Batgirl artists. So Babs Tar is famous, of course, for drawing Batgirl at Burnside. And Joshua Milton is famous for doing a bunch of covers for uh, Batgirl, um, both for uh, Merrigan Scott and uh, Cecil Castellucci. And I think he also did some work for um, Hope Larson 
I think the first part of the Rebirth run. So he did a lot of stuff for also Aquaman and I don't think he did Supergirl, but he's one of the things that drove a lot of the variant covers. Babstar did her own lettering. So this is a fun little own lettering. A lot of unique qualities to this one. Um, I just love the expression she gave Steph. And this is an homage to another famous uh, Batman cover. Um, she posted about that on her Twitter. So I definitely recommend checking that out. I just really like this cover and I wanted to honor the fact that we've caught got continuity between the two different Batgirl series uh Babs and then Stefan Cass and Babs uh all three as Batgirls and I think that's really fun and I'm I really want this in my collection so that's why I got this one too and it was less expensive the TFAW one was not quite as expensive as the Josh Middleton one but I kind of committed before i even knew there was going to be a josh milton that if there was a josh milton i really wanted it and it didn't break my rule because it has stefan cast equally focused just as this one has stefan cast equally focused so um this is alex garner alex garner also has a trade dress and no trade dress um this the trade dress here does kind of distract so if i were ordering this i would have gotten no trade dress because it annoys me um here I didn't order this because it's clear to me that Babs is the focus of the composition and Stefan Cass uh, were not as much. Uh, they are gorgeous. I love Alex Garner's covers. He did a bunch for uh, Batgirl back in the day uh, for Gail Simone. And he also did a bunch for Batman Eternal, uh, the series that reintroduced Steph. So I do like Alex Garner, but uh, my rule about it's not equally focused on Steph. So I did not get that one. And this is a Steph only cover. This was interesting. And there's two. You've got the uh, more full length with the logo, and they have just the profile um, with the mineral trade dress. Steph looks like she's got a lot of bronzer on. Um, and she has a little bit of expression, but again, she's a little too placid for me. So that's why I did not choose to get this. It's by Will Jack. It's another retailer exclusive. Um, I kind of prefer the sketch that he did. I mean, he digitally painted this after he did a sketch. I like the sketch a bit better because it feels more like Steph. This just, she has so much bronzer and it looks like she clearly dyes her hair blonde instead of being a blonde. So that's, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just influenced by the fact that I watch movies and in movies, there's a lot of dyed hair. And so it's really difficult to tell what a uh, real natural blonde hair looks like. But, um, this is the only step only one, so I was tempted, but ultimately I didn't like it quite enough to pick this one out of the, I believe there's um, like 12 to 14 covers. Um, let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There are 16 covers. A lot of duplicates because there's the minimal trade dress and the, the with the trade dress. Um, but some of those have little bonuses, so I, I think that it is worthwhile. Um, I am really happy about this series. I, I do encourage everyone to read it. Um, and this was my uh, review of all of the covers. So hopefully if anyone was looking for that, I'm not writing reviews of them currently, not planning on it. But I did want to do this because it is a series featuring my favorite character, uh, Stephanie Brown, and she is leading a ongoing again. So it's been a long time and I am so glad. Thanks for watching.